Hello everybody, thanks for joining today. Today Sangamesh is going to show us the loan loss provisioning feature of the Mifos X platform. Some people call this allowance for loan loss, some call it loan loss provision. Regardless, we all need to accrue money for potential loan losses that we will just inherently incur. It's just a part of part of lending, sorry, <laughs> sorry to say. Um, I always start these videos with a nod to our user manual and on our JIRA and our wiki pages. This is where you can find all of your how-tos, your user manual. There's some uh, supporting documents that are available to help you in your organization. It's, it's a good source of information. If you do not find what you're looking for, in the documentation, uh, use our answer hub. You can type in your topic and the screen will populate with the answers that are out there. If you're not satisfied, simply ask a question and someone from the community will reply to you in a timely fashion. And now I would like to turn the control over to Sangamesh and he will be walking us through a hands-on demonstration on the Mifos X platform. Thank you so much. Take it away, Sangamesh. Um, on the Mifos login page, let me log in as super user, then go to the admin, mm, organization, then create provisioning criteria. You could create pro provisioning criteria from here by clicking provisioning, create provisioning criteria. You could provide the name. Uh, let's say for example, um, provisioning, provisioning for IGL. Then select the product. This can be a loan product. Then provide standard um, uh, days. So min is from let's say one to thirty days. For if it is the one to thirty days, you could provide the percentage value here. Let me provision has one percent for a standard category. Then select the liability. Okay. In either to um, in either to make the use of um, uh, provision, you need to have um, liability account and expense account for provisioning. So let me create um, pro um, chart accounts here. Add account liability. Let me say this as two thousand then make this uh, or else let me make this as 2001 and the account name has liability liability um, provisioning then click on submit in the same way for expense account select has expense account then 3001, the account code, deal code, then the account name, expense, uh, <clears throat> expense uh, provisioning. You could provide uh, your own account name, then click on submit. Then go back to the admin organization, create provisioning criteria. Uh, provide the name provisioning IGL select the loan product then provide the number of days from 1 to 30 days 1 person and you could select the um, account here from 31 to 60 days Let's provide it has a two percent uh, 
and from 30 uh, from for uh, doubtful category 61 to 90 days and provide this as let's say for uh, for example 4 percent then select the provisioning account then the expense provisioning account 91 to 120 days let's say uh, 8 percent then select the liability account and expense provisioning account and click on submit so now we have created um, uh, criteria for provisioning once you're done you need to go back to the uh, account go to the uh, loan account and you could create a loan loan account and uh, and the automatically provisioning will be enabled so once once you have created a loan you could go to the provisioning entries then create provisioning entry and you could create that for example i have created one here view then you could see here a provisioning amount has been uh, created here okay then you could also pass that for a general entry so you could see here the general entry has been updated for the loan provisioning okay let me pass it back to dina thank you dina thanks so much for that Again, I'd like to remind the viewers, use our answer hub, use our demo server. If you just want to test something out, bang away on this. It's there for you to use. You won't hurt a thing. If you've not signed up for our user list, please do so. The, we do community announcements or we announce meetings. We, we send information out to everyone on this, but better yet, if you need an opinion, you want a different point of view, you want some insight, post it out there and someone from our global community will get back to you. And more likely than not, many someones from our global community will get back to you. It is a great resource. We have our instant messaging chat support. And we also, of course, have our main web page and our general mailbox. So thank you so very much for joining, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.